Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Briar mid lane versus a, looks like Scion. I wonder if this guy is going like that build path that I mentioned earlier, but we're playing on the PB because they are trying to change Briar in a pretty significant way, making it so lethality just is not as good anymore. Uh, to quickly go over it, your Q does magic damage now, so that's a little bit different. Does magic sh resist shred as well? Uh, it used to only do armor. It's not viable AP. Trust me, it doesn't work. Um, and also, it applies on hits now. So, you could build, like, Titanic Hydra, and it procs your on hit when you press Q. Uh, your W now heals you for not just damage dealt, which means that if you don't build any HP, you could see heals Briar for 36. That is a health ratio. So, if you don't build health, like full lethality, you're going to heal for significantly less. So it's very incentivized to build uh, HP now. Your E's like the same. And this is the big part that we're going to be abusing really hard and is pretty funny to build. Uh, we're going to be doing a very similar thing to the Scion build. Uh, where you build a bunch of healing items with high HP to make it so when you just run into five people, you're just healing for a ton. The reason why it's good on Scion is because Scion gets permanent HP whenever he kills stuff. Uh, but for Briar's case, there's this healing passive where Briar gains increased healing based off of how low she was, and it used to be 50%, and now it's 40%, right? So that's pretty different. Oh my god, what, what was that? What was that gank? My team all, they... I mean, sure, it works. They miss so much bot lane, but it doesn't even matter. Nice. Good gank, guys. Uh, anyways, what I was trying to say is that uh, it went from 50% to 40%. So, like, that's a nerf, right? And a pretty significant nerf because you lost, like, 10%. But you might notice it's not 40%, it's 44 And that's because there's an HP ratio attached to it now. That is completely new. So, what this means is that when we build HP, we can easily get the ratio above 50%, which was its max previously. And I'm talking about, you can get this above 100% increased healing. 100% increased healing means double your healing. So when we build items like Sundered Sky, which heal you uh, when you're low, when you hit a champion, or we build Unending Despair, which is the item that uh, makes it so you take you whenever people are around you every single seven seconds you heal yourself we can abuse those items and heal for more than any other champion in the entire game because we can effectively increase the healing by like 120 percent or something so it's gonna be crazy Uh, why did my character stop screaming? I didn't let go of my key. That was strange. So, the way to also counter this build, by the way, if you really want to be invincible, the way that you become invincible is, uh... Wait. That guy's so close to dying. You want to go against stuff that doesn't have percent max HP damage, but unfortunately they have quite a few, and Zyra's really good because she goes uh, Landry's. So, it's not the most ideal team comp to go against. Thankfully, Scion's going to just be useless against me, so... This guy will probably die here. He saw how low I was and wanted to kill me, but remember that Briar has insane healing, so... I'm going to get a Grass proc off of him. We want Grasp because we're trying to get literally as much healing as possible. Grasps give you permanent HP every single time you hit somebody, but also heals you based off of uh, your total max HP. So... Can I get this plate? Who is it? Shivana Jungle? I see Shivana Jungle has Dark Harvest. Shivana does max percent HP as well, so I was worried. But if she's going AP Shivana, I should be okay. Darius doesn't deal max percent HP, but he does have a lot of consistent damage. 
We want to be in a scenario where we have a bunch of people near us because the unending despair item is only so big at the circle around you where you heal. So if I have to go against Zyra and uh, the other guy, then it's going to be kind of hard because we're not going to get any healing from that. You're going anti-heal early. That's so... Come on, man. I'm just trying to have a good time here. I'm just trying to have a good time. Anyways, look. It has went from 44% to 61% from just one purchase. So, already, now it's better than the previous version. Yeah, we don't have, like, any damage or anything, but we're increasing our HP. Or, our healing. And our HP, I guess, so. That was the plan. Are you just gonna sit back there and just watch me farm? I kind of want to, like, roam. I think bot lane roam might be possible. It might be... Difficult to kill those guys, though. Oh, wow, that actually hit her. Cool. It's going to take really long to kill this guy. I'm just going to flash so I keep my uh, bleed up, because otherwise I might not be able to kill. I'm also just going to take this wave. All right, cool. So that is shoved out. We have our heart steal soon. I'll just stick around. I mean, I don't really have anything to buy, right? All we're going to buy is uh, some useless stuff. Yeah, the cool part about Briar Passive is it increases all healing, so even these are healing me for more. If you have a Soraka on your team, it literally works with Soraka. You get increased healing from every single thing in the game, which is pretty unique. Oh my god. After we kill this guy... Then I think that I have enough for um, my heart steal, which is amazing. Grass proc? Ooh, thank you. So now that we have this, we can start getting permanent max HP. And then that's just going to feed back into my Crimson Curse becoming even stronger. We're at 70% increased healing based off of my missing HP. So remember that it's when you're very, very, very low that's when this is kicking in. So when I'm 1 HP and I have like 5,000 HP, when we auto attack somebody, we heal for almost 1,000 instantly. Um, of course, it matters if they have like this. That does matter if they have uh, that type of stuff. But Oh, thank you for the hard steel stack. Another heart steel stack. Thank you very much. I wonder what this guy's building. He has the anti heal, but he also has um. Where is Shivana? Is she just AFK? Has she just been farming? Like, is she gonna show up eventually mid or what? I can just apply bleed to this guy. Rasproc. I have my bleed fully stacked on this guy. It does a lot of damage. I can just toss him away. Is there a jungler legitimately AFK? No, she, there she is. Okay, so she's just been farming all game. She has a lot of farm. She's level 6. Makes sense. Shivana's pretty worthless. Especially AP Shivana until you reach 6, so... Now is her moment to finally uh, be able to do a lot. Right now is not a very big power spike. This build path does require at least one healing item to really start feeling crazy. So right now, it's not really uh, going to feel too nuts. The healing is only from my abilities, and that's it. So... This poor Scion. He truly is Scioning, though. I mean, this is a classic experience. Might as well be facing the boss at this point.
That Darius is so bad. I need to kill that guy somehow. How am I gonna kill him? All right, so next item will be the Sundered Sky, I think. Sounds best. We're up to 81% increased healing. Not to mention, I also have other things like, for instance, Revitalize, which healing and shielding you cast becomes 10% stronger when I'm below 40%. So we're stacking a bunch of shit that really is effective. Yo, let me stack you. Nice, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, she stole it? That's not good. Hard steel stack coming back up. Come. I'm just trying to knock it stunned under tower, so I'm going to use my E there. Grasp. Nice. Thank you. More grass procs. Got another heart steel stack. I appreciate that. I didn't even notice you're here. All right, cool. The hard steel is not going to come back up fast enough, is it? No, it's not. Dang it, man. Darius has a hole breaker. Can I beat Darius if I land my ultimate on him? It's going to take so long to kill him, but I do have really good healing right now. Because when I just have bleed stacks on him, it does take him absolutely forever to kill me. Because you heal from your bleed, if you didn't know. Let's see if we can kill him here. Oh god. Yeah, I'm going to unfortunately not have enough damage to kill him. If only I could maybe use my ultimate. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not even worth the shutdown because everybody's losing, but this is the perfect game for, like, hopefully... Okay, once again, they have, like, percent damage on some of these characters, so it's actually kind of scary, but... I still want to see what it's like facing, because maybe this is something that I'll be able to play when it comes out in high elo as well. Because it is fun being a tank sometimes, especially if it's things that where you can beat, like similar to, similar to Warwick. There's no reason to honestly ulti this guy. I don't know why I'm even doing this. He's 0 6, so his amount of gold that he's worth is just so useless. The thing that I should focus on is just getting maybe heart seal sacks from him, and then also, um... Okay, she has a uh, Landry's, yikes. I'm not gonna fight you, bro. You guys are too strong right now. I don't have my item yet. I need to be patient. Okay, cool. Thank you for the heart seal. That's what I really wanted. How does Darius have minions? Normally when you're doing what Singe is doing, he doesn't have minions to work with. How does he have minions? That's so weird.
Dang, man, I'm so sad. We needed to land that. Who can I play around to get these shutdowns? Seems like no one right now. I might just have to do it on my own. Killing Scion's worthless. But he's a hard steel stack, so. I'm sorry, but you're probably gonna die. There's not much that we can do. Got the hard steel. Oh, right, he's worth more again because he got a kill. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, true. Very facts. All right, and we have the item, so we get the healing. So let's just buy that. So I flash. You messed up! You messed up! Okay! I'm probably gonna die, right? But it doesn't matter, dude. I got what I wanted. I got a big shutdown for myself. Thank you, thank you. That's exactly what I needed. The other things that I need is like... Probably plated steel caps, I think? I don't know if CDR is really gonna be that useful. And then we need now the unending despair, which is gonna give us the healing when people are around us, and then we're we're good. Those are the things that I need. So we're chilling now. The next person to kill is Zyra. I might be able to honestly do it with an ult, maybe. Depends how many people are around her. They're ulting down mid. Dang it, dude. Nice juke. I know you're not probably going to continue chasing. I really wish I got that kill, though. Okay, so that guy will die. I can't really chase her very well. Because I'm slow. Yo. Oh my god, yes. Another shutdown. Uh, she seems gone. So they're probably just gonna continue split pushing, like with Scion and stuff. The Darius needs to die though. Should I just ignore Scion and just go Darius or what? It's really annoying that he's able to just shove. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this, but, oh, I meant to hit the minion. I'm not actually trying to chase him right now. I don't care about killing you. I care about clearing the wave. Because I thought he was honestly just gonna tank my damage and just keep going. All right, so also now we can go try to help out with this. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care if I get the kill or not because I already got plenty. So now the comeback can finally begin. 800 gold for my next item. This item might make me invincible versus Scion and uh, Shivana when they gank me. If they gank together, I think that the unending despair healing is going to be too high that I could just never die. I'll get low and then just the cooldown from all of my items will be uh, too powerful. Wait, I don't have any towers yet. Are they just on Baron? It's actually kind of bad if I uh, get Baron. <laughs> um, help me, I get this, please. I don't do that much damage to it. Oh, that's so annoying, dude. Just let me take it. Hard steel stack, thank you. Oh, 
Oh my god, I got the healing off. <laughs> uh, you guys take so long to kill me, bro. <laughs> We're at 100% increased healing now. We didn't even have our unending despair if we had it. I might, honestly, would have never died. And remember that this guy has anti-heal. I have no... If they don't have anti-heal, I probably just live. They probably just live. Dang, dude. But we have to worry about... The inhib top. Singe might be able to kill uh, the tanky people later on. Depends if he goes Landry's or not. I don't. I don't want to go for that guy. I want to stop mid. Oh my god, dude! You took that so quickly. You were so much money, huh? Oh Jesus, dude! Okay, well, he died, though. Push that against the wall. We have our item now. One more dragon until they finish their soul... Unending despair completed. Oh, wow. One hundred and what? Eight percent? If I can land my ultimate on Smolder, I imagine we can chase him down. Of course. All this water because they're flying for food. I'm just happy that they're not baroning right now. Ouch, that hurts. Wow, he ultied me? Okay. Dang it, man. I don't want to ulti you, but you're just running in a straight line at me, so I guess you're just going to have to die. No! Well, at least I was able to get the healing off. I have so much healing right now that chasing people is pretty easy. Oh, I wasn't able to get over the wall. But she flashed away, so it probably would have never worked in the first place. We have to be patient with killing this guy. Okay, whatever. We can just kill him here. I ignited him. The bleed and burn damage from that guy. They're pushing out bot now. Unending despair healed for about a thousand there, but I barely have any champions on me though. Oh, he's just trying to end through like Scion ways. Uh, next item would probably be a spear visage if they had a bunch of AP damage. But I don't really know if it really matters. It might be better to go like Titanic Hydra for damage. 
at this point. I already have enough healing in the kit. And being able to, like, duel people is more effective than anything else. So I'll probably go for that. Oh, you're gonna die, dang. Our base is in shambles. Alright, cool. Ooh, I actually hit him. Cool. So you're dead. Heart steel proc. Throw this guy away from me. That guy I can't chase anymore, but my champion can't be stopped. I just want to see if Shivana was nearby. Hard steel. Well, I don't really die, dude. I'm kind of invincible. Sadly, we're still getting split pushed on, though. Oh. Our base. He probably gets that, right? Does he? Let's see if we can uh, maybe stop him. Nah, he'll go for it. Oh, wait, no, he won't. I'm just gonna scream him away then? Can he get it from now? No? Still no? Okay, cool. I have 6,000 HP, 130% increased healing. Yeah, okay. 130% <laughs> increased healing is crazy. Hey, our inhibs are coming back up, cool. That makes the game a little bit easier, right? Yo, Darius. Why are you so fast? Hello? Like, what is this? I don't know, Darius. My healing is kind of insane. Can you really kill me? I don't think so. Sion's still just split pushing. I'll try to defend Sion. Probably can't. <laughs> because you don't have anything, really. My damage is also not bad at all. It really isn't. Because when I use my Titanic, I cleave for a bonus, like, 550. Seven second cooldown on my Titanic. I can't believe I just... I can just keep on going in, dude. My healing is crazy. 137%. I'm gonna die here for sure. I, I can't, I, I was literally CC'd for like a solid six seconds, it felt like. 
I was trying to get just one hit on Scion, and I would have healed for so much. Okay, what do I want to build next? This gives us bonus AD based off, oh, tenacity. Although, they have a lot of knockups. Other things is Spirit Visage, but they're mostly AD damage. Wait, I took 19,000 damage that fight. Oh my god. Yep, the healing go kind of wild. Mm. My spells deal more damage, and I get ability haste and health. Let's just go this for Zyra, you know? Oh my god, dude. I wonder if it's... Oh my god. Imagine having 200% increased healing. You dodge it. Oh! Oh no. Nah, that's fine. I'll just stop it. Oh my god, dude, there's so many people on top of me. Am I screwed? Oh my god, dude! What? Dude, what is this healing? That fight was hard too. I had to get onto so many people. I don't even know if I can do this. They're gonna rotate over for sure. This seems... I mean, they won't have Darius, which is kind of nice, I guess. You're dead, right? I got you? Yeah. Just do the Elder now. She's dead. They stole the elder. No. I mean, they're all dead, though. Quickly shove out bot lane. Do we lose our inhib top? No. so much money. I could sell my boots if I wanted to. I probably shouldn't continue pushing. People are respawning. But not having movement speed would suck. This gives me movement speed, Black Cleaver does. I think I just go for that. When you hit people, you get it. 180% increased healing. Oh my god. Oh. That's that's wild. Can I lose us the game if I just start fighting? Is that possible? Like, will Darius come over and beat my ass? I 
I wonder if I should just... Oh, he has a Zhonya's. Zyra doesn't have a Lyandris. Hmm. Kind of sucky that I don't have all. This is gonna hurt really bad. Doesn't matter, right? No, he's gonna live. I know they're gonna take like our whole entire base, so. Oh, dang, he got in front of me. There's nothing for me to take. Oh, you got him before he took the inhib, though. We can maybe just start this, right? Seems like they probably won't be able to get on top of me. Oh my god, I'm actually going to get to the 200% potentially. The 200% increased healing. Remember that 100% is double, so we're effectively going to triple the amount of healing that we get. actually. Buy another iron pot. Um, I mean, the goal is just, you know, try to kill their backline. We can easily die. Oh, yes, this is it. This is the fight. You won't be able to run, dude. That is probably the fight. Can we end now? They're gonna continue barraging our base. And our base is in shambles too. I wish I was faster. Can I kill you? Ooh, I'm gonna kill myself for once, huh? Oh wait. Yeah, I am. Wait! Maybe not? Oh, the inhib respawned. I'm not dead? Nah, we don't have any damage. It's maybe game over now. I don't think I can run away ever. GG's. GG's. Holy shit, dude. Anyways, I think that I did a good job at proof of concept. It's so difficult. Oh, wait. 
Does my team really think they can defend? I don't think so. I have proved that this this thing is ridiculous. I mean, uh, the game was impossible because we got triple inhibbed and they have elder and stuff, but in an, any type of even game, it, it probably was possible to win. Wow, you guys can't even kill him. Ooh, oh, you did? <laughs> All right, guys, defend the base, I guess. Uh... Okay, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, there's so many supers coming in. I could technically, like, sell Black Cleaver for, like, a Sunfire Cape. Or something. It only does 126. Yeah, I don't know. The thing is that we can kill them and win team fights, but then we can't do anything because uh our push power is abysmally bad, so. I was hoping that we could just take the towers when I was trying to keep them busy, but our wave clear isn't that bad. We have Titanic Hydra, right? So Oh, my shield is for a solid five thousand. I got it, yeah. So are we just gonna... Who is that, Scion? Oh! Am I dead? Wait, you're, you're gonna chase me down? No? Oh, you hit me with that. Yeah, I think I'm dead. You got me. Oh, what? I'm not? Really? You guys can't kill Scion. It's over, dude. There's too many minions in the base. I can't even get on top of that guy. Anyways, thanks for watching on the commentary of this shit, dude. This stuff is going to be so crazy. I feel like it is going to be something that I want to try when it comes out in Halo. But, uh, oh my god, it's actually so nuts. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and look forward to uh, when Briar comes out and you guys get to test it out for yourself about this uh, new... Oh my god, 117k damage. Yeah, we were thousands of gold behind, so it was really hard fought. Healing done. <laughs> yeah all right well see you guys later thanks for hey everybody welcome to the next commentary today we are playing some briar mid on the pbe uh as you guys know played a lot of briar but they are making some significant changes to try to make it so she can't really uh go lethality anymore uh, the things that really matter are your Q does magic damage now and has an AP ratio and shreds magic resist. AP Briar still, trust me, it's not really worth trying. Uh, I did play a game of it and I did win and stuff, but it takes so damn long of farming before you can even get to, like, one-shot people. Uh, your W now heals you, uh, based off of your HP mostly, rather than just how much damage you deal, and it can't crit anymore. Um, and then your bleed now has this thing where uh, it used to be whenever Briar got lower, she would get up to 50% increased healing. Now it says 43%. So that's a nerf, right? There's a health ratio attached to that, and that's brand new. It didn't even have a health ratio. So what's going to happen now is we're going to abuse that health ratio to make it so in the previous version of Briar, you could get up to 50% increased healing the lower you are. You need to be like 1 HP to get the full value. You can get this ratio over 100%, effectively doubling the amount of healing you get. So we're going to abuse that. We're going to be going like Heart Steel, because once again, we're trying to stack HP, which is sick. And uh, we even have Grasp to start getting bonus HP whenever we can. So, the idea is to build a tanky healer build. I'll just use my E. Other things were quality of life things. Your bleed now takes every half second rather than one second, but it still deals the same amount of damage. So, all that does is just make it so, um... 
things die, or, or you get the healing a little bit more consistently rather than having to wait every single second, right? So... I'm just gonna toss her under tower with my E. Also, my E is damage reduction, it heals us. She has no ignite anymore, so it's gonna be really difficult to kill me. But she almost got me, that was really close. CSing all these is such a chore. I'm just going to toss these into the wall to get the uh, bonus damage off. If she jumps on me, I think that I should be able to fight. We're doing good CS-wise. Um, and w the lower we are, the more regen we get, which includes the Doran Shield regen. That's why I even built it. So. Just healing. It looks like she was rotating to Kindred, maybe. So that's why I just immediately eat. I got too scared that... Okay, Kindred's bot side. Well, I got baited. I might be able to kill her, but I'm going to die for it. But the good news is that we killed her. Wait, she didn't even hit me? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, of course that's worth. We want to go heart steal first because we want to get the stacking ASAP. Obviously. So already we're at 50%. We bought 200 HP. 100% base regen. We don't have base regen. Oh, look, it goes from 0 to 4. Actually, okay, so base regen does affect your 0. So, <laughs> I thought that maybe it was just a useless stat, but it, it works. Uh, another thing is that your Q applies on hits. That's new. It never applied on hits. So, if we build Titanic, which we will, because otherwise we're not going to have any damage, um, it will be able to apply it uh, for the first hit, which is pretty nice. I was going to auto-attack her a couple times there. Get another Grass proc off. Your Grass heals you for percent max HP as well, so... Just going to clear out all those minions real fast. We're doing really good CS-wise versus this guy. I'm going to try to get the Grass up again so then I can uh, Q her just for a little bit of damage again. Grass proc, please. Can you kill me? Or do I live? I did get myself dangerously low. My E is almost off cooldown. The goal will be when she jumps on me, heal myself and then immediately E. So what we did is we hit grasp, which does heal you. We uh, bit her very quickly, which also heals us. And also our bite still deals more damage the lower they are. She's not gonna ult? Really? That's strange. I was expecting her to ult you that entire time. Maybe she knew that if she used it that I I probably was gonna be able to outplay her with my E, so. Healing a bunch off of the minions right now. Remember that our bite now heals a, a flat amount based off your HP? That's completely new. It didn't used to do that. You used to only heal based off of the damage you dealt. So if you don't build any HP, and you go lethality, you're going to be healing for way less. That's why they incentivize the, the tankier build paths. But yeah, there's so many healing things. Another thing is that we have Ingenious Hunter, and Ingenious Hunter is the item haste. So this has a cooldown. I'm going to make it so the cooldown shorter, so we get more heart steel stacks. There's other items in the game. We want to go Sundered Sky eventually, which heals us for percent missing HP, and it's 6% missing HP. So if I'm low and I have 100% increased healing, I'm going to heal for 12% increased HP. That's broken. Oh... You're dead, though. Alright, so we got those. Getting closer to our item. Look how much healing this will give us. Every single time we pick one up, it gives us a little bit less because we're removing the passive. <clears throat> we're up to 57% increased healing now. 
Anyways, there's other items that we want to go. I had published that Scion video very recently, and in the Scion video, uh, we were able to get that item called Unending Despair, where whenever people are nearby you, every seven seconds, once, you get, once again, it's an item that has a cooldown, so you can... I had a feeling you were going to be here. I'm just going to fight her immediately and just get my bleed stacks up, because even if she turns around and starts fighting me, as long as we keep our extremely high bleed stacks on her, we'll probably win, so. Just do a little grass proc on her. How much money do I need? 700? Mm, it seems kind of far away, to be honest. Are you going to jump on me because I used all my cooldowns? I feel like she would probably never win, right? My damage might not be high enough, but I feel like I'm just too tanky that she can't really do too, any, do too much to me. That guy's only level 4. She's probably going to die to my team. I don't need to do anything. No reason. I got myself really low. Still don't want to jump on me. A fight's going on where my team is super low and they're trying to finish them. Damn it, dude. Whatever. A little bit shocked that you're not even attempting to fight me. You're quite dead. I should be able to just run. I should be fine. We got Swain Flash. So many people mid right now. We die. I don't deal any damage to her, but at least I have my item, right? Do I not? Did I actually make a mistake of just not getting enough CS? No. It's time for me to sell my door and shield just to purchase this because I care about it that much, I think. Otherwise, I can't afford it. Yeah. It's going to take too long. 50 gold is not worth waiting for. So we have our hard steel so we can start stacking it immediately. 69% healing increased. The next item probably should be Titanic, just so we deal damage. Because if you don't build Titanic, you might just be super, super tanky, but you're just not going to deal anything. You could probably build Sundered Sky as well, I guess. We're also a little bit bigger, too. Hard Steel proc, thank you. Dang, almost got the hard steel. I mean, not hard steel, grasp, I mean. You're not gonna let me hit you, right? Right? You're not gonna allow it? Playing so safe. Four people mid. See you later. I'm not gonna fight this. I'm not gonna fight four people this early on. I bet I could probably go in pretty deep, you know, once I actually finish items that give me healing. But right now, it's only my abilities. So, I'm not utilizing any items that might heal me for a lot. Like Sundered Sky or something. More out of control than I am. Huh. 
Welcome back. I really want to get a proc on you, but I feel like you're still just playing super safe, so not much that I can really do. She's not going to allow it. Maybe I should just base because she's playing so uh, cautiously. Nah, I'll stick around. How much does this heal for? Her? A decent amount, like 400 health. Because it does like 250, but then I'm getting like a huge amount of the increase because I'm really low, so. All right, let's go. Let me get that heart steel proc on you. Thank you. Oh, you messed up, so you didn't pick up your dagger. Didn't get a reset off. Nice. Wouldn't really matter, though. My healing there was kind of ridiculous. God, I actually heal for a lot. I mean, 330 whenever I bite stuff. We can just continue whittling her down. I mean, she just doesn't deal enough to even damage me back ever. If I land my ultimate, I feel like I could kill t Oh, okay. Could probably kill this guy. I got a heart steel proc too, sick. Up to 93 bonus HP already. Not to mention, we're going to be so big. Oh. Remember that your Q allows you to stop your Berserk for chasing people. You never want that. Wait, my heart steel auto attack didn't go off. I'm dead. See you later. Oh, wow. She almost killed the turret and I would have lived. That, that would have been so hilarious. All right. So what do I want to build? Do I want the more damage and on hit? Or do I want to go for the healing and CDR and missing HP? Or do I want to go boots? Because it's getting kind of old and never being able to uh, catch up to people. And then we're going to be building the Unending Despair eventually. I think I'm going to go for... This. Am I on YouTube? I don't really know what on YouTube means. I'm Mean Briar, dude. Hard Steel proc, she's dead. Holy shit, I'm already so tanky, 3.1k. Another Hard Steel proc. Dude, give me the hard steel. Come here. Another hard steel proc. I didn't mean to use that. I'm not trying to like walk towards that. We heal for 158 plus 45. I honestly feel like the healing on your W has just been nerfed. But, I mean, <laughs> the amount of healing from your passive now is so insane. Oh my god, that guy really wanted to just shove that out. Okay. She's trying to steal it. It's probably gone, though. 
Oh, she did steal it. Okay, well played to her. We finally have a little bit of AD to work with, so we deal much more. Another hard steel proc. Once again, we don't have any healing in our kit with our items or anything. So, unfortunately, we can't just, like, run into four people like that. But it takes forever for them to kill me. And eventually, I'm hoping that we can just walk into a bunch of them. Once we finish, like, Sundered Sky into the uh, Unending Despair. And then the ticks from Unending Despair is just going to be so much. Who have we not killed? Smolder. So, Smolder is the person who still... Uh, also, they have two dragons, which kind of sucks. Imagine if I had Ocean Dragon. Uh, Briar's passive is so unique because many champions, whenever they have certain things, it says, like, your abilities heal more. But hers literally is just healing gives you more. If you have a Sorok on your team, she heals you for more. Every single type of healing, not just your own abilities, which includes the items, right? I mean, if it wasn't just items, then... Oh my god. Takes a little bit to kill people, but we can manage. Yo. <laughs> Wow, Smolder's uh, mom could be so useful for clearing out waves, huh? Heart steel. Oh, you really flash late? Okay. Hit them all away. She might die to the bleed. One of them was really low. Another heart steel proc for myself. I have my item as well, so now when I'm really low and people think that they can hit me, I'm just going to auto-attack them and instantly heal for like 500 plus because I finished it. So this is when it be starts becoming super wild. <laughs> One more item and then we're just chilling. Oh my god, this is going to be so crazy. This only has a 6 second cooldown. And then it's per target, so if there's like 3 people on top of me in their melee, like I don't know, Swain's trying to ch run me down with... Katarina and Riven. I'll just try to swap targets when I'm low and just continue getting the procs off. Berserk, of course, I'm not allowed to swap targets because I can't control my character. So sometimes I might hold on to my W and not even use it just to tr try to auto-attack different people. Hey. I don't know where you're going to run to and you're pretty screwed. I also just don't really take much damage at all, so... I'm just so damn tanky, dude. I heal for so much. We're almost at 100% increased healing when I'm low. <laughs> Already, I don't even, like, I'm not even close to full build, too. Aw, oh, dang, I wish that landed. Does this show how much you've healed for? Nah. How much damage does my, uh, demolish do? A thousand. That's okay. Do I want to try to just fight a bunch of people at once? 
hard steel proc. Let's just use my E to put off cooldown. Here comes Riven. Another hard steel proc for myself. I healed myself for 600 there? Okay, now we're healing off everybody else. Still maybe not enough. Healing again. My bite! My bite didn't go off! Dude, this is so insane. <laughs> my, uh, I was ignited as well. If I was able to bite Katarina just a little bit earlier, I might have been able to continue it going, but like, oh my god. The cooldown from the um, Sundered Sky is so nuts. I don't even have the other item that is going to also just like start becoming so crazy. Because you deal 102, 250%, so it's going to be like 250, right? Or more is going to heal us. So that's that's going to be amazing. God, dude. Kill him. 4.3k HP. They do have some champions that unfortunately deal percent damage. Like Kindred W does percent damage, but she's super weak. So thankfully, if she was fed, she would probably shred me down really hard. Um, but don't have to worry about that because she's not strong. I just want to go in 1v5 after I finish my item. Just showcase what the new Briar healing can do. We're up to over 100% increased healing. 105%. God, so gross. Oh, you ultied to get the wave. But that's okay. So I'm just going to use my W here. Q on the minion so if anybody comes up, my character won't chase them down. We have our item. So now I just want to go in and start like going really aggressive to the point that the enemy team is just going to collapse on me and try to kill me. This is the moment of truth where I wanted to see what it feels like. The true healing build. And we're not even done yet. Because we're going to be building Spirit Visage, which increases our healing by 25%. And that's going to like stack with this. <laughs> so, and then Titanic probably like for the damage. So you have something. Okay, nice. It doesn't matter who I go for. I'm just going to be getting heart steel stacks and be feeling invincible. How much will I heal for if I hit you? Oh, oh my god. I healed for 800 there. He's too scared to come out. He's not going to give me the Penta. Oh my god! I can't swap targets. If I could swap targets onto Kindred... Dude, this is so crazy, man. This is... Oh. I didn't mean to go in. That healed for about 4,000 that fight. <laughs> oh. And that was before, like... I know that, like, I'm a little bit fed. Because, like... Okay, one, two, three items. You should always compare items. Katarina is pretty damn weak. She is one of the weakest. She has two items. They had anti-healing though. Like, can you imagine if they didn't have anti-healing? And also, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm like too, too, too fed. 
but now I am because I'm gonna be like four items versus there too. So this is gonna be crazy once I come back. What what should I build next? The Titanic or the Spirit Visage? I think the Spirit Visage honestly might go so hard. Let's just build that. What's so nice as well is because the fights last so long, you can get off those hard steel stacks so damn easily. I think my team might just win on their own. Does this guy have enough stacks? No, he doesn't. Oh well. It's probably over. I feel like we did a good job of showing proof of concept of this build. Wait, how much do I heal for when I'm just near them? 700! What? Look at this! The range is kind of small, they need to be closer. I just heal for 380 from just somebody just being near me. Yeah, that's so crazy. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary of this proof of concept uh, healing briar build where you're just really abusing this new ratio that they added that never existed on her so now you can uh build a bunch of healing items and it heal more than any other champion in the entire game so thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it we'll look at the healing at the end i wish the game that was a little bit longer and my team was maybe not winning as hard it's kind of unfortunate but healing done 52,000 healing. Self-mitigated, 50,000. I don't know what that means, if that takes healing or not, but... Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out, bye.